Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the displacement diagram for SHM that is simple harmonic motion. So let's get started. Here is the displacement diagram. For SHM or simple harmonic motion, here SHM is the motion of the follower that is when the cam is going to rotate, the follower is going to move with simple harmonic motion for that I am drawing the displacement diagram and assuming that the lift of the follower here is 6 cm this is just an assumption so here so that we can complete the diagram drawing a light vertical line over which I will mark 6 cm which is the height or the lift of the follower Now, after getting this height or lift of the follower, since it is an SHM, I will mark the midpoint of this height which is at 30 mm and from here I would be drawing a light semicircle taking this point as the center, radius equal to 30 mm, I am drawing a light semicircle. And this procedure needs to be followed whenever there is SHM. Also called as the lift or the stroke. Then I would be dividing this semicircle into six equal parts. taking each angle as 30 degree drawing light lines over here So I have divided this semicircle into six equal parts and I will give the notations here starting with zero. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Now the outstroke I am assuming here that it is 60 degree for the cam rotation that 60 degree I would be plotting here as six centimeter horizontal line and dividing that line also into six equal parts like I have divided the semicircle so I have assumed the outstroke as 60 degree it can take any value it can be 90 degree or any other given value now this 60 degree I have divided into 6 equal parts then after that I am assuming a dwell of around 30 degree and for dwell there is no need to divide it into number of equal parts because the follower remains at the same position during the dwell period. The first dwell assumption is it is 30 degree no need to divide it similarly I am assuming the return stroke also as 60 degree for simplicity it can take any other value as well and dividing that return stroke also into six equal parts so this when I add up all the angles it comes out to be 150 and out of 360 when I subtract 150 it comes out to be 210 degree so it is dwell for the remaining 210 degree I am showing it with a broken section it is second dwell 
which is of 210 degree and again no need to divide the dwell period now the way i which in uh, in which i had divided this out stroke i'm going to give the notation so starting with zero again here this is first second third fourth fifth and sixth then the procedure is i would be projecting this one upward and here this one on the semicircle would be projected in horizontal direction so that would give me the first point point number 1 similarly two would be projected upward and horizontally from semicircle next point 3 four five and six so after getting all these points i would be connecting them not with the help of a line but with the help of a curve because it is an shm so it needs to be joined with the help of a curve a smooth curve indicating the shm of the follower so this is the rise of the follower with shm and just to explain it i am assuming it to be a knife edge follower it starts from this position which is at zero at the bottom position and the moment the cam starts rotating the follower starts progressing or moving upward with simple harmonic motion over here so these are the follower positions finally it would reach at the top that is up to the left which here i have assumed it to be 6 cm it can take any other value as well so this shows the lift of the follower with simple harmonic motion then during the dwell period the follower will remain at this top position for the next 30 degree of cam rotation so just drawing a dark line indicating the dwell for the next 30 degree and the follower remains at the same height then in a similar manner now the follower will start to descend or it will fall or return to its original position which is zero and that is also with the help of shm because here in this diagram i am showing only simple harmonic motion so it would be with shm and to make it simple i am giving the same notations over here starting with 6 in the reverse order 5 4 3 2 and 0 now like 6 similarly 5 would be projected upward and horizontally from the semicircle i'll get the points in order so these are the respective points for the return stroke joining them in proper sequence with the help of curve a smooth curve so this is the return motion of the follower and it will start falling from its maximum position with shm over here as we can see in this diagram and finally return returning to the original position which is at zero and then it will remain at that position for the remaining 210 degree of the cam rotation so this is the dwell so this procedure procedure needs to be followed for drawing the displacement diagram when simple harmonic motion is given and here i had assumed simple harmonic motion for out stroke and return stroke it may be that shm would be there only in the out stroke or only on the return stroke it can also be possible so with this the video is ending at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching